Yo, what's up? We back with a video. I, I need I need to decipher a statement that I've seen on Instagram and it's just really weird. That I really just... I seen it, I scrolled through it last night and I said to myself, I had to make a video on it. So we got this Instagram post by this feminist account. Obviously, there is a woman running this account. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. But men have to now get women to like them and a lot of men aren't likable first of all there's two things that i there's two types of men that i really don't like first of all i hate the women bashers all women are bad men and i also hate the panderers the ones that pander to women for likes and views and social and social clout just uh, i.e Derek jackson i.e all those oh the man gotta do this for you those type of people i hate the panderers men have to get women to be men don't have to get women to do anything i don't have to get a woman to do anything i have to get a woman to like me no no that's simping you don't make a woman like you you can't make a woman like you i don't have to i don't have to get if you have to get her to like you she don't want you that's not the woman for you if you have to get the woman to like you like and people talking about oh people, all the women talk about he spoke facts he spoke facts no I'm not going to make you like me. That doesn't make any sense. If you don't like me from the get-go, then I'm not talking to you. If you give off vibes that you don't like me, go, leave. And a lot of men aren't likable. Likable by the likable by whose standards? Do I care? And do I care, though? I don't care if I'm not liked by certain people. That's the thing. Is, that's, the, that's the thing with a lot of these men now. These emotional men. It's extremely emotional. They want somebody to like them. They want, they're they looking for somebody's approval, especially if, approval from women. Like, bro, if it's, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to live or die on a comment from a woman. If a woman tells me something positive about myself, I'm going to, I'm going to take that, say, thank you. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to take you. I'm going to say, thank you. And I, I might, I'm pro, I might say something positive back. Maybe depending on how I'm feeling. Bro, at and, and the end of the day, bro, y'all got to stop living for these women approval. Men aren't likable? By whose standards? Do I, do, when have men ever cared that somebody likes them? That's some women stuff. When, when has a man ever cared about if somebody likes him or not? Bro, y'all, 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 y'all kill me with this. Y'all want to, y'all want to be loved so bad. Y'all want everybody to love you so bad. You want everybody to like you so bad. When you should have a circle of people, a small circle of people that you have, that you love. You feel what I'm saying? A small circle of people. It should be. Your family and the people, the women that you keep close, your potential children. Like, bro, it should not be all these random people that don't care about you. Okay, let me just read this. What went wrong, what, what went wrong with marriage in this generation? Men don't trust women and women feel like they don't need men anymore. What the, is the spark to all of this? This is what, he's, this is what this dude Dapper Domo says. Let's be honest about the situation. How many of how many generation of men in history have ever had to get women to like them and had to get women to like them in order to have women to be with them? We're probably the first to ever have to do so. So no one knows what to do. You're the first to have to chase women. Yes, y'all chase women. That's, that's literally chasing women. Getting a woman to like you is chasing a woman. Getting over like you is not chasing. Yes, men in the 50s didn't have to chase women because women needed stability. Because women did, men didn't care about, men didn't care so much about what women thought about them. I'm not saying that was a better time. Of course, women women were oppressed like crazy back then. You know what I'm saying? I definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of women having their own. If you want to have your own money, go ahead, go crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, let's go back to the 50s where you're just in the house all day. No, no. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and, and I'm not going to sit here and get a woman to like me. No. That means you, that basically. First of all, when you say getting a woman to like you, that basically means you're going to become her friend first, and then. But once you become a woman's friend, you're not going to go past that. So you should know that. We're two generations removed from a woman not being able to have a bank account without a man. Okay, that's the that was the law. Um, three or four move from when they couldn't buy a home, couldn't work, couldn't get educated, couldn't do nothing without a man. 
pandering again. Women quite you women quite literally used to need a dude. I mean they kinda still do. Um they they, they kinda still they, they still do, but they don't want to admit it. So they had to be with somebody regardless if they like the man or not. Today they truthfully don't. They can leave your they can leave your butt and be perfectly fine. Heck, some of them might be better off. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care if you leave. Go ahead. If you if you if you worry about a woman leaving, then you 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 emotionally attached. You you're extremely emotionally attached if you're woman if you're worried about a woman leave leaving. If if a shorty leave me, she can leave. The door is that way. I, I don't care. The door is that way. You can leave. Your grandfather was probably a horrible husband. Again, assuming pandering. Uh, like it best, he was probably emotionally distant and patriarchal. But the family stayed together, didn't it? The family stayed together, didn't it? Didn't it? Emotionally distant and patriarchal. Okay, he don't need to be. Why does a man need to be in his emotions 24-7? He's not a man. Why does a man need to be emotional all the time? Why do I need to express how I'm feeling all the time to you? Why can't I just get... And, 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 when, we emo and when we say we hurt... We tired. We don't. Y'all don't care. Y'all just are. Oh, you a man. You're supposed to do it. You a man. You're supposed to do it. You, you're a man. That's what you're supposed to do as a man. You're supposed to go out and work. I don't care. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your struggles. You're a man. That's what society has told us. That's why we. That's why a lot of men just said forget it with emotions because society don't care. Society don't care that a man is complaining about stuff because you're a man. Why are you complaining? Go go get a job. Go work. Dudes used to have two whole families miles apart from each other and was emotionally abusive to both. That's not that's not flying today and truthfully speaking it shouldn't. That's an extreme. That's such an extreme. That's a stereotype. Oh that all men in the sixties were cheating, they had all a bunch of what That's a stereotype, first of all. A lot of men want the same relationships they saw their families had, but never thought to ask were the woman happy in these situations. The real answer is a lot of them weren't. Men want the same religions. Man, I, I, maybe. I mean, there might be some truth to that. <clears throat> I don't. I feel that firstly, I want to run. I want a relationship how I want it. I don't care about what so and so got going on over there. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna run. The, I'm gonna run my relationships how I run my relationships. I, I don't. I don't want. I don't want what what Bob and what Bob and what Bob and Lisa got going on over here. And what Tom and when and Brittany got going on over here, I want what's going on with me. So fast forward to where a woman, truthfully speaking, don't need you. You gotta come harder than your ancestors. Gotta have some substance. See, you sound like a woman now. Talking about a man gotta have this, a man gotta have that. Bro, if a woman don't need me so much, then why does she require so much of a man? That's the question. That's the question. If she don't need me, why is the requirement so high? If, if you don't need something, shouldn't you just, shouldn't it just be easily accessible? Shouldn't you make it as easily accessible to you as possible? Gotta have some substance. What, what are these, you, what are these women doing, bro? But we, what's, we're not going to ask them what they bring to the table. We just want to see what they bring to the table. But a lot of them feel like they are the table. Just their, just their mere presence is enough. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? A woman truthfully don't speak and don't need you. All right, but who is guiding a woman throughout her journey? Who is guiding a woman throughout life? Hopefully not other women, because a lot of other women are lost as well. Women don't need a man. They want one. A lot of women want one. They might not. They might not need one, but they really want one. <laughs> they, they really want a man. They might not need one. And a lot of you don't have substance. Not me though. Y'all be safe out here. But fuck. See, now he, now he. See, see. This, this, some. This is really some female stuff. How you gonna talk about other dudes? And then he gonna throw dudes under the bus just for some, just for some female sympathy. Oh, not me though. I, I, hey, I, I ain't part of the group, even though I'm, even though I'm a dude, and I'm throwing, and I'm throwing all, all these dudes underneath the bus. Are you serious? 
and all these dudes don't got no substance. No, shut up. These women, a lot of these women have, a, a large majority of these women have nothing to offer a dude. If you're a woman, I mean, if you're a dude, you shouldn't need anything from a woman anyway. You shouldn't need nothing. You should, I don't need nothing from you. You don't have to, I don't need anything from you. But, but can you make my life easier, woman? That's your, that's your, that's your, that's your offering to me. Can you make my life easier? Can I come home from work and I can come home to you with a, maybe you come home, you greet me with a smile. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a back massage. I hope you cook some food. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care. I don't need a woman to do anything for me, bro. You don't need, you don't need to need, bro. But then you claim you don't need a man, but y'all see a bug in your house. Who you calling? Your dad. Your brother, you got some. You got some beef with some females, cause you run your mouth. Who you calling? Your brother, your dad, your man. You need something fixed in your house. Who you calling? Your brother, your dad, your man. A mechanic, of someone who fixes it, who's most likely going to be a man. Like bro, bro y'all. You might not need men, but you really want men. Y'all really want men. Yeah, y'all try to like. And a lot of these dudes, they, 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 why do y'all, these dudes siding with women just for some sympathy and some likes and comments because, like, bruh, a lot of these, why these women are bitter. Like, these women, a lot of these women who spend all day on social media bashing men are bitter. They're mad, they're probably mad because the guy they wanted slipped away because they did some stupid stuff. They let the guy that they actually wanted slip away. But let's just, bro, let's get back, let's, I just want to get back to this first, this first post. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Men have to now get women to like them. What? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not chasing a. I'm not go. I'm not. What? I'm not working for a woman's affection. I don't need to work for that. If a woman likes me, off rip. She likes me. I don't need to work for that. That's chasing a woman. That's literally chasing a woman. Getting a woman to like you is literally chasing her. Getting a woman to like you will get you in the friend zone. And you will stay in the friend zone. Bro, I'm not worried about if a woman likes me or not. If she, if she, I'm not worried about it. But if she does, she can come with me. Like, bro, y'all, y'all, y'all pandering dudes get on my nerves, man. Y'all pander so much. A woman, I don't, I don't need a woman to like me. There's no, there's no, What? But all right, bro. Anything. Anyway, that's all I had to say. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Check my post with these. Check my TikTok. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.